What is going on guys, Brown here and welcome back to the F1 My Team Career Mode. It's been a while since the last round at Silverstone, sorry about that, but let's get into Hungary. So into Hungary, Monaco without the barriers as it's nicknamed, it's not really one of my favourite tracks. It's it's not really that good in my opinion on that, that quick round at either. But, and there's not much overtaking at the end of our first run. We are very far behind, you can see the cutoff is P16, so we need to find quite a bit of time and coming towards the end of Q1. And we are seven tenths up around the final corner on the exit. Up to the line, we found seven tenths, but it isn't really enough to get us off the back row. 21st on the grid, it's going to be a long race tomorrow. So, also out there, you can see there Raikkonen and Gasly, George Russell, and our teammate and Nick TV. Let's get into the race it's though. It's race day in Budapest as we get ready for another round of the Formula One World Championship. We don't expect too many retirements at this track. There are plenty of current and former drivers with flawless finish rates here. In particular, Ralph Schumacher. He made it across the line in all 10 of his Hungarian Grand Prix starts. We're northeast of Budapest for the race today at the 2.7 mile Hungaro Ring Circuit. 14 corners here, 8 to the right and 6 to the left on a track where downforce is king and passing is notoriously difficult. And I'm joined once again by Anthony Davidson to bring you the lowdown for today's race. So, let's briefly discuss Lewis Hamilton. That was a great win in the last race. Can they keep that momentum going this weekend? It's always nice to come into a Grand Prix weekend on a high, but your expectations are based much more on your practice and qualifying runs. So it's the momentum from those sessions that they'll be hoping to carry into the race today. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas. The fin starts from pole position, and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Vettel, Max Verstappen, and Albon, Perez, Stroll, Ricardo, and Carlos Sainz, Ocon, Kvyat, Lando Norris, and Giovinazzi. Grosjean, Magnussen, Kimi Raikkonen, and Pierre Gasly. Islet, Brown, Latifi, and George Russell ends our grid lineup. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track and get this Grand Prix underway. Let's get it underway indeed, Croft. Here's the fiber lights. Come on, we're starting 20th because of George Russell's penalty. It's a long hold of the lights, but they are out. It's Mercedes v Mercedes and Ferrari v Ferrari as we head down. Into, in towards turn one, it's a very long run. We've got a decent start. We're going to pull over to the left hand side, but Gasly's gone wide. He's hit us. Gasly, it looks to be out of the race, and we've gained quite a few positions. The safety car, though, is deployed. Just one corner of racing here in Budapest before the safety car comes out. It's not really known for safety cars, but we've got one here and in just a second we'll have a look at what happened. We've jumped up four positions since the start because we started P20. We've got a really good launch at the start. The first phase wasn't great, the initial launch, but the second phase was good. I tried to, there was the only space, but I guess we kind of pinched the gas, you can see we've completely wiped off his left front. He is out the race. This is Pierre Gasly's start, so he got quite a good start. And then here yeah, you'll probably just see us, see us come across. You can see here, there is a gap. Oh. I feel like that's, that's half a dozen of one. You can see here the contact and I don't know what to think about that one. I think there was space but I don't know. Strange one that I think. There was space for Gasly but he still managed to hit us I think. I don't know unless he came over a little bit. 
more. I didn't use all that space, but it's a racing incident. It is what it is, and Valtteri Bottas is going to get this race underway again. And we are now going wheel to wheel with our teammate Callum Eiler. We've signed Callum Eiler last race at the British Grand Prix because Guan Yu Joy didn't want to continue with us down our path to glory, hopefully, in a couple of seasons' time. We flood through turn two and into turn three. We have lost out to our teammate, but more tactically because there's not really any point in him, um, us holding him up, a bit like we did in Silverstone as well. But the red point fighting here is we got Kevin Magnussen behind us. One of the more aggressive drivers in the race. You can see skip on to lap eight as we run a little bit wide. And now Kevin Magnussen sees his chance. Started on the mediums. We're going to look and do a one stop. And look at Kimi Raikkonen as well trying to get past us. We squeeze Raikkonen out, but we've lost out to Kevin Magnussen. Now skipping on all the way to lap 15 because nothing really happened but those yellow flags as we head towards the chicane they go green as we make a huge mistake and go right over the curb and it's Carlos Sainz in the McLaren Carlos Sainz is out of the race and we get our second safety car off the race you can see here massive engine failure on the replay and that Renault engine going bang very, very quickly. Huge engine failure, just letting go. And I'm not really sure about the cars behind, just kind of following in whilst it's slowing down. But safety car deployed, that's really going to help us. We are going to pit under the safety car. So that was save quite a bit of time, of course, the reduced speed. It's normally. It normally saves quite a bit of time, whereas it would be 20 seconds compared to everyone else going flat out, probably more like 10. Got the hard tyres, it's a 3.1 second stop, which is dreadful. But you come back out on P13, and let's see if there's any chance of us going forward as the safety car is coming in on lap 17. We follow Magnus into through all this race we haven't actually lost time to Magnus and yes the safety car helped us but Valtteri Bottas runs the final corner to get this race going again but there's a there's a Oc on P2 that's Kvyat in P3 so we wiped out one of the Tory and the other one is doing very well And now we're headed towards turn one. We've got the racing point of Lance Stroll, I think it is right behind us. And now he's having a little look, trying. But he's just a little bit too far back. If we can hang on to this, it would be great. But the car's all over the place. These hard tyres are absolutely dreadful. As you can see there, we go wide. And we've lost out. I think it's actually Perez. It's the racing point at the end of the day. And we've actually got made a mistake if we make contact with the racing point. We've lost out, what, three, four positions there. We'll have a look at it in just a second. But what happened here was Sergio Perez. And side by side into the chicane. There's a little bit of space and we just stamped on the throttle and lost the back end completely. If you can see, I had to go fully locked right just to keep the car in a straight line there you can see if there was actually contact and there nearly was but not to send us round that was just our mistake and we've lost quite a few positions because of that and now going into the flip reverse of turn two pretty much and we've gone wide and Dan, Danny Rick is right behind us try to have a go now skipping on a few laps and Daniel Ricciardo is trying to go round our outside we squeeze him out but now we might have a run into turn two which is a little bit too far back and we keep that position for now but 
couple of laps later and we've made a massive mistake and Ricardo is alongside us and now into turn two he gets the job done and kind of expected it was only going to be a matter of time and on lap 25 we're going wide again and this time the most experienced man in Formula 1 overtakes us and gets the job done it's hard but fair to me but that time never really much I could do about it I made the mistake these hard tyres had no grip whatsoever it's like driving on ice so this really wasn't the strategy I thought it would but you can see now we go on to the very final lap of the race around the final corner it was a very very dull race to me just kind of getting overtaken left right and centre after a dramatic start that's the end of the We'll see you in part It's a performance to be proud of today from our Hungarian Grand Prix winners. So, Anthony, what made the difference out there today? It was a question of right place, right time today. We were looking at an entirely different race before the safety car came out, but they were able to take full advantage after the field had been bunched up. After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team, and they certainly deserve it. What a podium then. Bottas wins from Esteban Ocon and Daniel Kvyat. His first podium since Germany last season. Which of course isn't totally relevant to this career mode. To see the result there into the championship and Bottas extending his lead. So Mercedes extending their lead as well. Ferrari really nowhere in that race. And we've pretty much lost the rivalry to Kvyat with six behind. He can do it next time out in Belgium after the summer break. Between us and Callum I, I still haven't got my head around this. I'm going to have to go away and figure that out. We only get two of the gold bonuses, the other one we don't get. Um, we have a bit of damage. The budget is now four and a half million. We're going to skip on. I was... Um, it was a good episode. There is a thing with Will Buxton. I will do that off camera. Like and subscribe if you have enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in Belgium.